Hi everyone, welcome to Movies and Us, and we're back with another video. Um, this time it's it's another ranking one, but uh, something a little different, and we're going to be ranking our favourite VHS covers or um, VHS artwork. artwork covers, yeah, um, of A Nightmare on Elm Street. So there's obviously, as you know, there's seven movies in total. We've got. Seven plus the Four. remake, so the but we're not including that one. Well, the remake never had a VHS. Oh, okay. anyway, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but we we yeah, we've got the the uh, VHS is uh, the is something I've had since I was a, a kid, so they are a bit doggy, a bit dusty. And then uh, we've got about four duplicates there, um, but with different artwork, which we decided we weren't going to put in the ranking because obviously the ones we're going to show we prefer. So what we're going to do is with, with, with the rankings, we're going to start off from our least favourite to our favourite artwork on the cover. So like I said, they're all VHS covers um, and... I suppose with some of my ranking, it's more nostalgic. Um, Danielle's just gone, oh, I think that's better than <laughs> that one. Do you know what I mean? No, I've, I've completely detached myself from the film and just thought, okay, yeah. so what jumps out at me? What do mm. I look at and think, well, I'll give that a watch. You know, that looks mm. good. Um, Why have you got the same top on as me? Because we're twins today. <laughs> I would have okay. thought you wouldn't know when we came no, in. I've only just <laughs> clocked on. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, yeah, so for me. Yeah, so for me, I, I. Starting off with. What should we do it properly? So starting off with number. Because there's seven movies, isn't there? Yeah. In, in, in the original franchise. We're excluding that piece of dog turd from 2010, which is not a good Freddy film. But. So starting off. With Danielle's least favourite, number seven is... Um, number seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know, because go I, on, go I, on, I, on, the film, the, the video will take forever. It was um, number six, Freddy's Dead. Where is it? So, part and six. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. I just don't find it's that attractive, the cover. It's, a, it is Freddy's top, hat and gloves, any horror um, Freddy Krueger fan would know that's that, but if from somebody just looking at a shelf, they, they, they'd they be like, you know. I don't Nostalgia for me, I mean, I remember when this film came out, and I'm showing my age now, but I was about nine, uh, and I do remember it coming out. <laughs> I was going to say, you were nine, and I was five. Okay, um, <laughs> like I was in Jimmy Savile or something. I'll have to cut that out. No, you won't. I'll keep it. In. <laughs> um, anyway, but this is this this VHS is from my personal collection. So this is I got this back back in the day. So um, yeah, I I personally like it. It's a bit higher up in my list. <laughs> Not much higher, but. <laughs> Um, it's just nostalgia for me, and I remember the um, the 3D glasses you got with it. Not got it in there. Definitely, this didn't come with the 3D glasses. I don't think. But that's uh, Danielle's number seven number least seven, favorite least favorite artwork for the VHS cover is Freddy's Dead. It's my least favorite, but I, I still like it. But mm. in comparison, yeah, to yeah, everything yeah. Else. So mine is. Wes Craven's new nightmare. Um, just not much, just not a fan of it. I'm a big fan of the movie. That's my least favourite. Um, but I do. It's it has grown on me since you know the last few years. Of Freddy being more denom demonic looking and the whole story and stuff. But I, I do really like this film. But it's my least favourite cover. Is new nightmare. And that's my number six. Oh. That is uh, my number six on the ranking. Um, second to worst one. I just feel like, to me, it looks more demonic. Which I like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also the gloves as well. I know the whole um, story was that, you know, 
he, he was real. But to me, I want to see Freddie's glove on the front cover of the VHS. That looks very robotic, um, kind of like Arnie, you know. I get what so, you mean, like a T-800. Yeah, I just of. wasn't, yeah. Mm. It's still a nice cover, not slating it, but in my opinion, um, it, it's not as great as the other ones that we're going to show. Yeah. Okay, so my number, what am I, my number six. Oh, ours is alternative. Yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> my number six is, we just shown before, my le uh, sixth least favourite is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Okay. Um, but I don't mind it. It's a nostalgia to me. I like the simplicity, you know, of the hat, the glove, and it's shown, you know, Freddy's now dead sort of thing, and he's left behind his hat, his glove, and his, his it's sweater. It's big that, though, because when you do, like, die, that's all you're left with, like, your belongings, like, your shoes. Moving on. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let, let, let's off beat this. Okay, again. number five. Number five. We've got number two. Um, where is it? So. This is my number five. This is an old, v very old VHS. Very, very, very old. But um, this is um, artwork from one of my favourite poster artists. is Graham Humphreys. He also done the artwork for part one. Um, again, nostalgia to me and a fantastic film. A look. This, is, this is the most sinister Freddy. Yeah, but for me though, but because we are ranking the artwork, um, it came in my bottom three because I just didn't feel like it was that great. <laughs> um, it, and I, I still don't think it is. Mm. There's not much. It's just got a picture of Freddy. I mean, that... The, why is his hand if that had his claws like his, his the knives on his um glove it doesn't make sense it's like mm. show the knives show it is but maybe back in the day they couldn't do be that because to, of i don't know but the audience to be fair in the, blockbuster to be fair this 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 image is really like cut down in the if you google this and you look at Graham Humphries and nightmare on elm street 2 cover um it's the hot the whole of it is fantastic all this round the sides was just the usual with they, they did bring out sets back in the days um there's a part three they bought out that one which i'll mm -hmm. show later but they've got this stupid like wall i don't know what would you say like a like a concrete fucking wall thing like he's it's stupid anyway because it's um basically if you look at the full artwork like yeah and you can see the bus and stuff from part two it is see that's artwork. what i mean if they have the bus on it and it, great, and it yeah, it down but, and it'd yeah. be higher up but yeah i get what you come where mm, you're coming bottom, from th this was in my bottom three yeah. so what your one on your um bottom three is part three uh dream warriors um it just i don't know i mean all the colours are wrong, for starters. I mean, Kincaid is a white guy in this, and Kincaid's a black guy. Then you've got... What, on the image? Yeah, yeah, there, that's Kincaid. And then oh, you've got... Right. Um, oh, right. Oh, the punk rocker girl. I forgot her name now, but she's pink there, and then you've got... I don't even know who that, that's supposed to be. But I'm being a bit picky there, but it is, it's nice artwork. It, it, I mean, they got the house down there, but I don't mind it. They could have done better. But that's my number... Bottom, it's your number, number five. five in your bottom three. Yeah, so so we're now bottom. getting to our top four. Yeah. Well, the middle one now. And uh, I'd say from top four, these like, I re really like these ones. Okay. Well, number the fourth one now that we're going to do is in the middle. It's mm. not really a bottom. It's not really a top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> number four. <laughs> number four is number four for me. 
is number four. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if Freddy is a top or a bottom. I don't so, know. Oh. It's fat. Where's number four? I can't see. I feel dead embarrassed. Um, is that your? Is the, the, I am picking up the right VHS. Yeah, channel. number four for me is the Dream Master. Let me just have a look. And um, I actually did like the concept of this. I like the way on the road his his um, claws are coming up. I like the innocent eyes, you know, and then his kind of like goofy kind of eyeballs yeah. on it. I did like that one. I like the colours as well. So that's. Yeah. I've not. I've noticed par four is getting Are a little bit more love over the past couple of years. Ready. Um, par four is a big favourite of mine. So always has been. Yeah, but we're we're we'll yeah we'll talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that at the end. So mine is the oh. that one. No, I love this no, it's one. No, not. Oh yeah, it is. So mine is. The Dream Child, it's just fantastic artwork. Um, again, nostalgia for me, you're gonna hear me repeat myself on this, but if you know, you know. Going to the video store, you know, having a look around and, you know, certain like covers pop out at you. And even if the movie's poo, you, you just get it for the cover. Remember? Yeah, you, like, and this and, is why and, we're doing yeah. this ranking because I mean, covers do intrigue mm. and you and it, that was the beauty of VHS back in the day, and I, and and I like the resurgence with like um, our old video and that now where they're putting a bit more emphasis 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 on the artwork and stuff, which is good. So yeah, um, mine is par five. Okay, and now we're in the top three. Top yes. three. So my top three um, is number three, the Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors. I know Tony put this lower in his ranking, but I actually really like this artwork. Um, it's really again, good artwork. Yeah, I, 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 I like, like the, the fact that um, on each of the claws on it, from his glove, you ha it was kind of leading to one of the victims. Mm. But I actually didn't realise or didn't notice that, obviously, Kincaid was the wrong race on the image and the colour dynamics were all off again. I, I, you'd notice this because you're an artist and you know that kind mm. of stuff but I actually didn't notice that I just thought it was great and I love the fact that he's kind of like floating in, sorry <laughs> he's like floating in the clouds sorry and then you've got floating in the clouds the house in the backdrop um around by surrounded by wooded area I just thought that was actually mm. really really nice do yeah. So that's my top three. This is mine because I, I do know where Danielle's coming from, but it's my top three because I know exactly what that full image looks like. Um, and again, when you're a fan of like someone's artwork, um, as in Grey Mumphreys, I've liked this stuff since, you know, since I was a kid. And I just think it's great artwork. Again, I just wish... They could have just brought the image more into, you know, the ratio. You know, brought it out more with the with the um, the the school bus and stuff like that. But again, that's my top three um, of my art uh, cover ranking. So that's my number three, Freddy's Revenge. It is number five, um, the Dream Child. I. Really nice artwork. Really love this. I like the concept of the um, pram or the buggy or it is a pram, isn't it? That's what we call it in the UK, a pram. Yeah. Um, but I just thought that was absolutely stunning. The only thing is... It's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I still sorry. love, and they, they keep this on most of the VHSs, that kind of like style. Um, it's like a dream clouds backdrop um it's on quite a few of the vhs's with the blue and again we've spoke about this with um the freddy films there is a lot of blue within the films because it's the dream sequence isn't it yeah it's showing that when Betty freddy's 
present it has got that blue vibe and that is quite predominant on all these vhs's so yeah i really love that yeah yeah what's yours am i on the right one yeah you're on the right one so your number two is yes this is fantastic this was a tough one but maybe i'm just going with um, nostalgia again <laughs> but this is my number two classic artwork from Grey Mumfries from the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I absolutely love this artwork. Again, as Danielle mentioned, look at the blues. And then we just got a, some white and then some lovely yellow. Just popping it off. Just absolutely fantastic artwork. And I actually really love the back of the cover. Again, you can just see Tina, Tina there, just in the body bag. Really creepy Fantastic. scene. Artwork from Graham Humphreys, that is my number two. So what is your number one? Um, number one is that one. That is my favorite one. Yeah, don't blame me. Um, I absolutely love it. I love the, con the, the, uh, the concept of it. I love how like Nancy's asleep Spine again nice. because Freddy comes for you in the sleep. Um, it's got his glove over and then underneath it's got kind of like that sleepy town um, vibe. Yeah, mm. and it's dark and you've got the light showing up because obviously it comes, you know, when you're asleep, you sleep when you're at night. <laughs> so, but no, yeah, I really loved it. I do like that and it's, it's very detailed as well. Um, yeah. That is, that's really nice. Good choice. Good, what's yours? <laughs> Good, what's yours? <laughs> um, so mine is A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. And it's the Dream Master. And this has been my favourite artwork since... Yeah, since I can't remember. Because I'm that old, I can't remember. But yeah, I used to draw this when I was a kid. I used to try and replicate it. I used to just be obsessed drawing Freddy. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. It's a lovely artwork as well. It takes it's just it's just uh, staring at it. It just takes me. It's just great with the imagination. It takes your imagination elsewhere, right in that junkyard, and I just love it. Yeah, the, all the colours popping and stuff. It's um, it's like pop art, isn't it? Yeah. It's um, it's fantastic. That's why I said, to you, it's got a lot going on. Mm. Um, it's really nice. Mm. And also. This is an ex rental as well from like maybe the early 90s, but I've had that for since I was a kid. So that was my number one. Mm -hmm. um, just an honourable mentions because we've got other. Pizza. Oh shit! <laughs> got honourable mentions now. This is one Danielle bought me. Uh, it will not play on my VHS. I think it's because it's German. But this is a German release. Does that not play? No. Oh my it's god. German. Yeah, back in the day, if they were uh, another region, they wouldn't play on your video player. But yeah, this is one I'd never seen before. But yeah, that's that's that annoying. A German release, nice artwork. Looks not unlike Nancy, but not too bad. And then just another duplicate from a part four, just a smaller one. This isn't a rent. This isn't an X rental, but and then. We have another par three, me and Danielle decided that we didn't like this one compared to the other Nightmare on Elm Street 3. That's the cover, wasn't it? Yeah, this is another cover. And then, um, just honourable mention, this is one I've had, I mean, look at the state of it. It's got dust on it, it's, it's dog-eared. This is Freddy's Nightmares, the series. Um, yeah, this is an old one. But I've got that in the collection still. Um, and it's a good cover, actually. You know, Freddy getting all kinky there on the bed. But yeah. So if you enjoyed this, um, what would be your favourite ranking of the Elm, Elm Street series? Is in like, you know, your favourite cover, your favourite art cover. We, we wanted to show the VHSs off because they're the classic. You know, the so I'm happy with that. Yeah, so am I. 
so thanks for watching again give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel um subscribe if you like and um, we've got like 130 videos you <laughs> can go right back a few years now um give them a watch yeah until the next time we'll see you all soon bye for now bye now